Jihadist fighters are defending the last dreg of the Islamic State group's caliphate with ISIS members holed up in half a square kilometer of a village in eastern Syria. U.S. President Donald Trump said the fall of the IS proto-state would be announced on Saturday, but a top Syrian commander said his forces had slowed down their advance to protect civilians. The jihadists declared a caliphate in large parts of Syria and neighboring Iraq in 2014, but have since lost all of it but the tiny patch in eastern Syria near the border with Iraq. Hundreds of meters from the front line in the village of Baghaus, an AFP reporter heard artillery shelling and two airstrikes on the jihadist holdout. Huge craters had been blown into the ground, and the road was lined with destroyed buildings and the skeletons of burned-out cars, is is besieged in a neighborhood that is estimated to be 700 meters long and 700 meters wide, in the village, said Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, Commander Javarat, Baghouses within our firing range, but we are moving cautiously considering there are civilians still trapped there as human shields, said Farat, the overall commander for the operation, in a very short time, not longer than a few days, we will officially announce the end of IS's existence, he told reporters at the Elmer Royal Field turned SDF base. Thousands of people have flooded out of Baghouse over the past week, mostly women and children related to his fighters, but also suspected jihadists. But SDF spokesman said there were still civilians inside in large numbers, we weren't expecting this number. This is why it's been delayed, SDF spokesman Adnan Afrin told AFP, Mr. Trump at around 1600 GMT on Friday said announcements over the eradication of the caliphate would be made over the next 24 hours. On Saturday, U.S.-led coalition spokesman Colonel Sean Ryan acknowledged that the timeline had slipped because of the presence of civilians inside. There has been lapses as we continue to see hundreds of civilians still attempting to flee to safety, he said. Down, ISIS remnants beyond Baghouse, ISIS still has thousands of fighters and sleeper cells scattered across several countries. In Syria, it retains a presence in the vast Badia Desert, and has claimed deadly attacks in SDF-held territory. The U.S. Department of Defense has warned that without sustained counterterrorism pressure, is could resurge within months. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence vowed on Saturday at a security conference in the German city of Munich that Washington would continue to fight ISIS remnants even after a military Pull out, the United States will continue to work with all our allies to hunt down the remnants of ISIS wherever and whenever they rear their ugly heads, Mr. Pence said. German Chancellor Angela Merkel warned in Munich that a U.S. pullout risks allowing regiment allies Russia and Iran to boost their role in Syria. A U.S. withdrawal risks leaving Syria's Kurds exposed to a long-threatened attack by neighboring Turkey, who views Kurdish fighters as terrorists, to prevent this. They have scrambled to seek a new ally in the Damascus government after spending most of Syria's civil war working towards self-rule. Eight years into a war that has killed more than 360,000 people, President Bashar al-Assad's government controls nearly two-thirds of the country.